Good morning, New Valley Psalm 115 today, which is entitled, To Your Name Give Glory. And the background of this psalm is Israel is under deep distress. But in their distress, they're crying out to the Lord for help. And at the same time, they're declaring their confidence in who God is. The psalm starts out, not to us, O Lord, not to us, but to your name give glory. And the psalmist is saying, when you're rescuing us, this is going to be to your credit, to your name give glory, because you are the God of our salvation. One commentator puts it this way, with the adversity of God's people, the glory of the Lord is at stake. And this seems to be just what the Israelites are singing. Your glory is at stake, O Lord, and we know who you are. So show yourself strong. The psalm goes on from verse 2 in the next several verses to say that the nations are questioning God. Verse 2, why should the nations say, where is their God? And the psalmist goes forward to say, their gods have eyes and can't see, ears and can't hear. Their gods are really no gods at all. And under your care, Lord, we have true blessing because you're a God who acts in time and space. Ultimately, I think this psalm is encouraging because we see a people who are under stress, much like we are right now. We're going through a tumultuous period in history. And yet, we can sing a psalm of confidence, just like the Israelites, because God is in control. He's ruling and he's reigning. And there's no greater picture, I think, of than Jesus, who's in the garden, who's obviously under the stress. He's sweating great drops of blood. And he says, O oh Lord, not my will, but thine be done. And he surrenders and rests under the sovereignty of God in the midst of suffering. Because he knows that resting in God's care, being confident of God's care in the midst of suffering is the best place you could possibly be. And it's under this suffering that Christ underwent as he followed God and submitted to him in this time of trial that our sins were forgiven and we're guaranteed a home and a future, a beautiful, bright future. Saints, I just want to encourage you today to find a song, maybe find your favorite track on your iPhone or sing an old song that you know. Maybe you have a guitar, break it out and sing a song. Sing a song of confidence today especially those of you that are going through trials right now. You're thinking, how are we going to get out of this? Sing a song of confidence and recognize that God in his steadfast love is all about giving glory to his name by defending and upholding his people through various trials. Bless you, saints. Peace.